Hi, my name is Tim Brown, and this is going to just walk you through the basics of creating your first web page with HTML. So, join me, and we're going to make it easy. All right, so the first thing you need is a text editor. You can do this really in any text editor. I really like Sublime Text. So, if you haven't and you don't have one, download a text editor like Sublime Text. And let's get to it. So the first thing I'm going to do when I have a new web page, let's say let's create a new file, um, I need to make the opening HTML text. So I do less than sign, HTML, greater than sign, and let's close it, which is less than sign, slash HTML. So when you're closing a tag, it's the same thing with a slash at the beginning after the first opening tag. So from there, I want to save this so that it recognizes what code we're, we're working with and color codes it for me. That's a wonderful thing about Sublime Text. So I'm going to save it on my desktop as uh, index.html. And let's go for it. So the next thing we want to do is tab out because every time you essentially stair step your your dividers or your HTML tags, you kind of want to know where you're at. So by tabbing out, it helps you know what's next, know what layer you're on. Uh, that might seem a little complicated at the moment. Let's go with HTML and then we do the less than sign H-E-A-D for the head of the document. Well, it's kind of a utility and then we'll have the body of the document where there's uh, content. So less than sign slash H-E-A-D greater than sign. And then let's go down and let's make the body. Less than sign, B-O-D-Y, greater than sign, and then the closing body tag as well. Just like um, the head with that slash. And so, what are the first things that you can do in here? Well, we want to give a title to our web page. So, we do the opening title tag. You're getting the hang of this with the the less than and the greater than sign on either side of the word, right? Then the less than sign slash title, greater than sign, and let's make the title my first amazing web page, just for fun. And then we go down to the body, common HTML elements that you might want to know right out of the gate, perhaps H1 which means heading one. Um, it'll be your first heading. H1, let's go with my amazing web page again. Um, and then you close that tag, just like you, um, you did other tags with that slash. And then you have the, let's say, an H2 tag, which is like a subheading. Um, so I love this page. <laughs> And you close that just the same way with the slash H2. Um, another common thing that you might use a lot um, would be an image. So let's go with, let's put an image in here. It's um, less than sign IMG, and then you do SRC, which means source, and then equals. And you'll do the, uh, quotes and Let's just close this for now. So image source equals of course, and then we'll, how you close the image is just one greater than sign. Um, so that's not an image just yet, but it, we put the address of the image right here. Um, and in this case, what I'm going to use is kind of a placeholder image. I use this thing placehold.it um, just to give an idea about the image. So we're grabbing an image from this website. And I'm popping it in the code right there. So the source is here. And that, we now have a website with HTML, a head with a title in it, and the body with an image, a heading, a subheading. And let's make one more thing. A very common element that you'll use in coding a website would be a P tag. And that's paragraph. So the paragraph, this is a paragraph, and it is incredible, LOL, and then we're going to close it. 
um, once again with the backslash um, for the, uh, the end of the paragraph. And I'm going to go ahead and save this. And I think actually what we'd want to do in, in Sublime Text, you can essentially select a whole group of text and then I press tab so it goes one more out because we want this to be nested here and we need to know what it's nested inside. So this helps us understand that it's nested inside the body tag. It keeps our code organized. Super fun. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And let's open it up in the browser. So I'm gonna go to my desktop and look for that file because I want to show you what we just created. It's amazing. Google Chrome. Boom. My amazing web page. I love this page. This is a paragraph and it is incredible. LOL. All right. So if you follow along with me there, very small amount of actual learning to get to your first web page. And in the next video, I'm going to talk about CSS and just making some basic styles for your HTML web pages so that you can start to actually paint with your browser and it is fun. See you on the next video.